Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting Chicago's Cyanide, The Dying Truth. Thanks to Dark Descent Records and Ted at the Crypt for putting this reissue out with the original DAT tapes, the original track listing, and just some of the fucking heaviest death doom ever fucking recorded. This is totally fucking essential if you're a fan of death metal, death doom, just crushing death metal in general, which is why we're listening to it right now, because I would like to go over Alabama transplants to New Orleans. That's fucking Grave Ritual Morbid Throne on Dark Descent Records. Oh my fucking God, this rules. After listening to the new Incantation record yesterday, I can safely say, and I have a couple people that will back me up on this, Grave Ritual sounds more like Incantation than Incantation sounds like Incantation right now. I'm not ter talking about Dirge of Elysium, I'm talking about that new album on Relapse. I don't know what it is with Relapse Records and these like legendary bands putting out like mediocre material. It doesn't make sense to me and I'm a big Incantation fan so I was very, very fucking disappointed. But this, it's like they actually captured the fucking essence, production, fucking evil ass riffs, the vibe. Probably some of the deepest, fucking, brutal, awesome, evil death metal vocals as well I've heard since All More to Golgotha. Absolutely, Grave Ritual, Morbid Throne is incantation worship at its fucking finest. Like, seriously, it's the way incantation should still sound. And, the, I, dude, after Dirges of Elysium... I was like, fuck, yeah, Incantations, back, awesome. And then that new album just came out, and I was just like, fuck, what the hell? But then I was so glad that this came in the mail, because I know it's a couple years old now, but it's new to me, so as soon as I threw this on, and that familiar vibe came in, and I was like, yo, this sounds like fucking Almer to Golgotha incantation. And, yeah. This is some evil, evil fucking shit. I love it. Lyrically, riff-wise, vocally, everything about this just fucking... Oh my god, I love it. You just squeeze invisible fucking grapefruits, headbang, but... This is seriously some of the heaviest heaviest death metal like probably put on fucking tape and I think that has a lot to do with Dan from uh, Crucimentium doing the mix and mastering of this fucking monstrosity of a death metal release and I mean that in a fucking great way cause this is a beast it's heavy as fuck the production is just suffocatingly like just fucking evil like it's the only word I can like legitimately use besides heavy crushing and whatnot to describe this album but if you're a fan of like Abysmal Lord which features members of I think it has three of the four members of this band in Abysmal Lord as well but if you like Abysmal Lord you like Demigod, you like Incantation, you like Crips, you like Autopsy, and you like Cyanide? Oh yeah, you are going to eat up Grave Ritual. I'm going to throw Grave Miasma in there as well, Dead Congregation, Lucifer, but the special thing about this that separates it from the bunch is the fucking production and the vocals. I've never really outside of Almer to Golgotha have heard vocals that really, really like in the death metal field where it kind of has that caveman vibe still but it just like 
I don't know, it gave me fucking butterflies in my stomach, and I was just like, what the fuck? Why did I not pick this up earlier? Like, seriously, I was like, bummed out. Like, kicking myself in the ass. Like, how come you did not know about this band, motherfucker? And I'm so glad now, though, because Grave Ritual is a fucking shit. Like, straight up. I can't wait to see this band next month. I am going to Denver. Pat Hopkins and I, we have tickets. Dark Descent's 8th anniversary fucking show, fest, whatever you want to call that beast of a show. We have fucking Ritual Necromancy, Ascended Dead, Blood Incantation, Spectral Voice, Grave Ritual, and I'm pretty sure that's it. There might be... Um, one more I missed, but I'm pretty sure that's the lineup, and that's a once-in-a-lifetime show. Seriously, I can't wait to see Grave Ritual live. It's going to be incredible, but Spectral Voice as well. Oh my god, this is all a tale for a different day. I just had to say, like, one of the main reasons I picked this up was just because I was just going through Dark Descent's band camp and the artwork caught, caught my eye. Just like, I, I felt like a little kid again. I was like, whoa, look at how fucking evil this is. And uh, this dude Desecrator did the artwork for this. I recognize his artwork as well, but um, just, it looked so fucking evil. And I was like, let's hear what this sounds like. I figured it was going to be black metal, and boy was I fucking wrong. This is straight up death metal. Death the brutal way. It's so fucking good. Like, I can't say that enough. And you have um, Ryan Evans on vocals and guitar. I do not know if that's Maryland Death Fest, Ryan. I have no idea, so... Sorry, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not, but who knows? Jeremy Barry on Jeremy Barry on drums, Matt Bacor on guitar, Bane Wolfgang Donahue on bass. Artwork by Daniel Desecrator. Layout and design by Justin Stubbs. And you can email Grave Ritual at gmail.com. Fucking A. But the way these lyrics are put together and stuff, like, it's fucking sick. Like, text read from scrolls drawn on flesh, hidden blood sacrament partaken by the unchild, sodomized versions, illusions of innocence, lost in blissful lust, triumphant desecration. Like, there's like these little, like, words and stuff on each track like kind of in like a ritualistic way but i'm not sure how this is meant to be listened to like beneath the reins of gods and like follow me and i'll give you darkness that drowns out your holy light there's all sorts of like just little like like the lyrics are like in different font and stuff so I'm not sure if these are actually, and this guy's vocals are so fucking deep and awesome that it is kind of hard to follow along with vocally, but that doesn't take away from anything. It's actually fucking sick. Like, seriously, you're going to just get a call back to fucking Incantations onward to Golgotha. Trust me. Like, if you, if you know that album, especially on cassette, because I used to have a cassette version for probably a year before Relapse reissued it back in 2006, I think. But um, that was the only way I had to listen to that gem. And we listened to it so much that we made it sound just like a fucking wet blanket of awesome death metal. I have this on plain black vinyl, but you have some nice ritualistic symbols. And then, killer fucking artwork. I love how Dark Descent normally, like, puts their logo on the B-side of stuff. It's just cool. Like, a lot of bands don't do that. Like, they'll put a logo that has to do with, like, the artwork. 
on the actual like record sticker and then on the B side they'll put their logo and whatnot. It's cool. I, I think that's cool as shit. And this is nine tracks of just straight up killer fucking disgustingly evil fucking death metal. This rules so goddamn much, especially knowing that it's from below the Mason-Dixon line. Like, that fucking sludgy type vibe also really, really, you know, shines through on here, which is also goes hand in hand with Incantation's production. Like, just that fucking thick ass, like, wet blanket awesomeness and grave ritual just nail it with morbid throne on dark descent records you need this in your fucking life if i had to pick a favorite track on here holy shit i don't even know maybe fucking tyrant's hammer masters and slaves is sick um adversary crown yeah, everything on here is fucking absolutely awesome like there's not a track on here i don't i dislike it's, I know I've been saying that a lot too. It's because, and a lot of people are like, yo, I love your collection and stuff. Like, it's because I only buy albums that I know are going to be good. Especially on vinyl. Like, I'm not going to spend $20 on, like, I don't know. I have a relapse catalog from, like, the fucking 90s here. So, like, I'm not going to, like, you know... Like, let's say, like, yeah, I like regurgitate and all, but I'm not going to fucking go out and buy, like, a regurgitate carnivorous erection vinyl when I could just get the CD and for, like, $8, and it's probably going to sound better than the vinyl just because fucking it's gore grind, and albums like this are, like, meant to be fucking played analogly. Like, it just sounds so much fucking better in that type of like environment if that makes sense i'm not an audiophile or anything like that it's just the vibe i get from it like if you listen to it digitally and then you listen to the actual album here you'll know exactly what the fuck i'm talking about and just in case nobody grabbed it here is the download code I had to write it on the back so I would know. I have a bunch of these, but I can't use it, so I'd rather give it to you guys. So you can enjoy this as well, but I really suggest picking up the vinyl from Dark Descent Records. It's totally worth your fucking time. And I need to not brush my teeth right before making these videos because I spit and slobber. I apologize. I feel like a savage. But... That was Grave Ritual, Morbid Throne on Dark Descent Records, evil fucking death metal in vein of early incantation, autopsy, cyanide, etc. You, you know, if you, if you like heavy fucking death metal, you're gonna love Grave Ritual. And we've been blasting cyanide, the dying truth. It's 1992 fucking lost gem so goddamn good as well also available through dark descent records and ted at the crypt thank you so much for releasing this it's just amazing seriously i love that dark descent and the crypt like the time ghoul shit they, they just put out the coolest fucking stuff and i could just fucking hails i can't wait for september 30th the 8th anniversary show. If any of you guys are from Denver, Colorado, hit me up in the comments. We need to talk about some stuff. And, uh, yeah, Pat and I are heading out there, and we're going to have a good-ass fucking time. But, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and fucking hails. Have a brutal day.